She's getting self-conscious. She was just eating that hedge apple, then you turn the camera on, now she don't want to eat and look fat. All right, guys, here's the deal. I have always wanted a Corvette, but the problem is I don't really live in an area where Corvettes really work very well. It's kind of just gravel roads, fields, and off-road areas. But I have finally found the Corvette that will work for me. I saw this thing on Instagram. This guy posted up and got 57,000 likes in two days and everybody wants this Corvette. The guy from Mahoonigan says, take my money. Demo Matt said, right here, I'm your guy. This guy says, where's it at for sale? I need this in my life. Then there's this guy right here, Weston GW on Instagram. And he put some sideways looking faces because we're gonna go buy that Corvette. Oh dude, I think this is the place. This looks like where the pictures of it. <gasps> God, dude, look at it. That is the best looking Corvette I've ever seen in my life. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Oh my God. Oh, oh What size tires has it got on it? 33s. So these are 31s in the front by, they're about 10 and a half wide. That gives it that good rake. So it sets yeah, down the front like a exactly. race car. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Dude, look at the cold air intake though. Absolutely. You think that'll suck in water going in a pond? No. It's got about 15 to 16 inches of ground clearance right now. So, oh, oh, oh. It used to have about, what, three or four? It actually looks good. Like, the thing is, is most of the time, like, I thought it might stick out too much. No, it's, it's... But it's just the perfect amount of thick. Exactly. So if you buy this, it either has to end up in a museum or it has to end up in two pieces. Well, have you seen how I drive? I have a feeling it's going to end up in two pieces. I have a feeling it's going to be in two pieces. That's definitely for sure. You're selling this to build a C6, right? Yes. So you're gonna, the but, newer- but, but more badass with larger control arms, nitrous, a winch, like we're, we're gonna go all out. Listen here, listen here, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> that, that used to be nitrous. The guy before me had nitrous on it. So it's all hooked up, ready to go. Where do we put the nitrous bottle? First. I, I'll have to get the, my nitrous bottle out of my extra luggage in the back, but you know. We'll put that on when we get home. Oh dude, this thing's got black ice in here. That's this right. Re this reminds me of high school days. Camo too. I remember all the girls that turned me down, but now they can't turn me down. I got a lifted Corvette. <laughs> oh, this thing is good. I guess at this point, it's pretty much guaranteed I'm buying it, so. Oh yeah, this is what I've always wanted. To go cruising in the Illinois countryside, the hair blowing through my wind. <laughs> no, the wind blowing through my hair. Yeah, that's pretty good. Smell that. And I think that's either tire or clutch. I'm not sure which one. All right, grab the title. I'm taking her home with me. I want to smell a little bit of clutch. I'm not, you know, I'll tell you, I was testing the clutch out, right? You know, and it does work, but I do have the feeling that it doesn't like burnouts and donuts at your intersection <laughs> okay well grab a title i'll grab you some cash and we'll we'll make this happen all right but um you buy i bought myself a corvette off-road corvette <laughs> the best corvette you got the title i do all right there we go well bam thank you sir and that there helps fund the c6 it does there you go <laughs> anything else i should know about it uh, any like weird stains or something in it that i need to not know? weird <laughs> stains but the front suspension is a little bit red redneck scienceified you know, I felt that as I drove it. Yeah. It, it, like, it, you know, it's a little, but it's okay. you'll get to work. Well, guys, we officially got the Corvette. She is ours to do with whatever we want. Now, the thing is, this is just a Corvette that somebody lifted a few inches, put some 33-inch tires on it, and it's still two-wheel drive. So nobody really knows how well it's going to do but that's what we're here today for. Because we are at the Disneyland of Rednecks. We've got all kinds of off-road trails we can go to. This is the same place we brought our Bronco. We're gonna take this bad boy out there and see how far she'll go. I think it'll go a lot further than we expect, but I really think it's gonna break pretty quickly. There's only one way to find out. Let's take bets. What do you think's going first? The clutch, the suspension, or we drag the oil pan out of it? I think clutch is really likely to go out first. I don't want it to be the first thing that breaks though, because that's just kind of lame. I want it to at least like break in half. <laughs> oh, dude! This thing rips! Oh, I don't think the suspension's really made. Oh, it's not gonna have that much fun off-roading. 
We haven't even made it to the off-road part, part yet. We gotta go get gas first. You know how to open a gas cap on a Corvette? Oh, there it is. Found it. All right, full of gas. Oh, All right, now we're ready to go off-road. Just drive easy, drive smooth. We're going through a town right now. We can't be getting crazy with it. When we get on the gravel, In here. I'm gonna be downright disappointed if I look at the footage, it just looks like I went. Hello. <laughs> you know how insane it is when I'm driving a poor man out and this is like this. There's like Jeeps and stuff to drive out here. How you doing? Pretty cool new looking Jeep, ain't it? This right here is a new off roading Corvette Z71 edition. How far do you think it'll make it before it breaks? It's just really rough out here. It's it is time. very, it is very, very rough out here. Down the corner? The easier trails are at yes yeah. there's water in there right now so if you can't if you can't make like a 40 degree angle coming around that to stay up out of the water or you have a snorkel one of the two you're not going to get back there to the easy trail well i think she'll still go i think she'll be all right you know what what's the worst that can happen it's it's done everything i've wanted to do today perfectly yeah i don't think this is where a corvette's meant to be it's kind of not really it's cold environment oh geez. with this right we got across this river right here which is pretty fine it's pretty shallow in a place but i know it gets like this deep somewhere i'm not exactly sure where that's at and four men have a really good cold air intake system right there so i get them air filters underwater our corvette is toast so let's not do that let's test her out will a corvette make it through the river i don't know but for right next time we need to find out Oh, 
shift, guys. I'm messing up on the shift. I would have never guessed that that thing would get around in a rut like that. Damn. Dude, I'll tell you what. I uh, went to grab second, and then I missed second. I couldn't get it pulled into second. So. That's all the way we got ahead of you. Yeah. Dude, it was, it's not great to take off, but you get it over 20 and lean into it, it gets after. It. You guys have fun. We'll get out of here. You have a good one, dude. Figured out what's smoking. This thing is like 260 degrees right now. He used to say the racing did not help with any. The racing didn't help at all. Yeah. The uh, fan's missing three of its plates. Well, guys, we tested out the Corvette. It did really, really good for a little bit. And uh, I think she needs a better cooling system because now she is currently nuclear melt. You know what I mean. She's melting down like a nuclear reactor. We're gonna name this thing Chernobyl. It's fine, she'll cool down, we'll drive back to the trailer, we'll go get ice cream, we'll go home.